let's continue the deep analysis of your tweets. <laughs> you, you, you said that determinism in a tweet, determinism and randomness play important roles in understanding what life is. Yeah. So let me ask on this topic of free will, what is determinism? What is randomness? And why the heck do they have anything to do with understanding life? Yeah. And you threw free will in there. You're just throwing all the, the stuff in the bag. Are, um, are they not related to No, no, they are They are related. The, no, no. Sorry, I was being unfair. You didn't even capitalize the tweet, by the way. It was all lowercase. I must have been angry. <laughs> oh, that was... was saying, can you analyze the emotion behind that? <laughs> no, I actually... Is frustration I, or is Yeah, hope? maybe. So I already argued that I don't think that can happen without that whole causal history. And so I guess in some sense... Um, the determinism for me arises because of the causal history. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not really sure actually about whether the universe is random or deterministic. I just had this sort of intuition for a long time. I'm not sure if I agree with it anymore, but it's still kind of lingering and I don't know what to do with this question. But it seems to me, you know, so there's, you ask the question, what is life? But you could also, why life? Why does life exist? What, what does the universe need life for? Not that the universe has needs, but, you know, we have to anthropocentrize things sometimes to talk mm -hmm. about them. Um, and I had this feeling that if it was possible for a cup or a desk ornament or a phone on Mars to spontaneously fluctuate into existence. The universe didn't need life to create those objects. It wasn't necessary for their existence. It was just a random fluke event. And so somehow to me, it seems that it can't be that those things form by rand random processes. They actually have to have a set of causes that accrue and form those things and they have to have that history. And so it seems to me that that life was somehow deeply related to the question of whether the underlying rules of our universe had randomness in them or they were fully deterministic. And in some ways you can think about life as being the most deterministic part of physics uh, because it's where the causes are um, precise in some sense. Um, or more, most stable, so like I, most try, stable, yes, most I'm, reliable, I'm, I'm, most reliable yeah. for for our for how we for the tools of physics. But what um right? Well, so where's the randomness come from then? If okay, so you you were at uh, speaking with I've uh, gone in a tangent, so I'm not sure where we are in the yeah. All all, <laughs> all of the universe is a kind of tangent, so uh, we're embracing the tangent. 